My name is Teresa Lin, and this is my story. I'm better known in the internet as Homestead Tessie. Come follow me in my journey, my documentary of my life here on the homestead. I guess we should start at the very beginning of my homesteading lifestyle. In 2007, we were in the real estate market. We bought and we sold homes. We would fix homes up and we could resell them. We were quite successful and life was really good. So we ended up with one home and we sold it. And then we went and got another home and we sold it. We were going so good with it that we decided to keep buying homes even before the original homes were sold. That was our downfall. When the real estate market crashed, we were left with homes that wouldn't sell. We had just bought a home, bought brand new vehicles sitting in the driveway. We had all kinds of four wheelers and things like that. Money wasn't an issue to us. We could go where we wanted to. We could do the things that we wished. Life was good until the economy came crashing down. It take long to figure out that we had to do something. We had to do something quick. My husband wanted to liquefy everything, and I was really upset. For you see, back in those days, I came from a home that was considered wealthy. And I didn't want the stereotype about selling things, and it's hard to believe, but I had a lot of pride. What would people think if I sold everything I owned? Just imagine the talk around town. So we kept hanging on until that fateful day when my life came crashing down. I remember like it was yesterday. I wasn't feeling very good and I didn't tell my hubby. I just left it go. Long story short, I had to be rushed in the ER and I had a life-threatening illness. I remember asking the Lord that if he would deliver me from this and I would get over this, that I would change my life and change my pride. And I did. We started to set in motion everything. We sold everything. And we painstakingly got out of debt. And here we are. We sold our trucks, we sold everything. We sold our trucks. And I was in search for a peaceful way of living. Some would say this is a hard life. I say it's a joyous life. No more do I struggle with payments and wondering where the money's going to come in. No more do I struggle with 
all of these things. I decided that I'm going to make sure I never ever have to worry again about being in debt. size on one condition that he can find a place really cheap that we could pay cash for and I could have a garden and that's where we found this place now you have to understand this place was not livable One look at it, I thought, oh my word, I'm living in a mobile home. I told my husband 32 years ago that one thing I would never do is live in a mobile home. Never say never. <laughs> and that's where I landed. I saw potential. 
special in this place. I fell in love with it, even though nobody lived in it for quite a while, and it was overrun with rodents and so much trash on this place. Slowly we cleaned it up, and now we're here nine years. Nine years already. A lot of sweat and tears have been put into this place. I own it free and clear. No more worrying about bills or debt. That's what makes you happy. It's living a peaceful life, especially when you had chaos and debt in your life. This is my dream. Some would say this dream isn't very much, but it's my dream and I own it free and clear. I just moved here. We didn't have the internet. I didn't even know really what the internet was. So I went to our library. I found any books that I could find on homesteading and living cheap. life I had gardens but they were only for hobbies they weren't something that we had to live off of I had to learn to make a fire to heat my water. At the time, even propane was something that we had to save on. These are skills that I had to learn because I was set on one thing and one thing only, learning to do things that didn't cost money learning how to live like my ancestors did hundreds of years ago. I've taken great pride in where I live. I've taken great pride in the lessons that I've learned. Because one thing I promised, I would never go back to that lifestyle of debt. I've learned to entertain ourselves for free. All kinds of things we can do, like sitting out at a campfire and reading a book. was to raise chickens. I thought it would be a great idea to have eggs. 
A lot of people spend a lot of money on chicken feed, but I learned through books cheap ways to feed my chickens. And they get all the scraps from the kitchen. That saves a lot of waste. Chickens have become my pet of choice. I've had chickens now. So along with some oatmeal and some scraps from the kitchen and some chicken feed, I'm able to feed my chickens fairly reasonable. By the time my mom and dad adopted me, my mom pretty much left the Mennonite way of living. It was a hard life as a child for her, and so she didn't live a lot of that lifestyle anymore. She didn't have the gardens, but she was very frugal in her life. She did do a lot of sewing. But I wanted to go back to the roots. I wanted to go back to the old way of living. And so, I started reading every day. I started reading techniques and how to do things. My grandma Fanny always lived a plain life and so she helped me in this endeavor by telling me stories when I was younger. Those stories I remember and I put them into practice. We're waiting for my water to boil because this water we're going to wash our dishes with. Rainwater I have used for all kinds of things on the homestead, from washing clothing, to flushing toilets, to boiling water, to even canning. My fire is my strength, because in the fire you can do so many things. time of 2010, I was really embracing this lifestyle. When a friend of mine gave me a really old computer, and it was a dial-up computer, that's when I started blogging. I didn't know anything about YouTube, but I started blogging, and that's where Homestead Tessie came. And I started having so much fun documenting my life in a blog. For you see, I've embraced this lifestyle. It's not just something that I do for fun. It has become life sustaining for me. I've gone from knowing what it's like to get whatever you needed to having to learn to go without. going without? Am I really going without? Or did I learn a practical lesson in life that less is best? I think I learned that. I can't imagine ever going back to the old way of living, to the modern way of life. I've embraced it. It's become part of me and part of in my soul. My children, they think I'm so eccentric, <laughs> but yet they really admire my lifestyle. You know, if times would ever get hard, a lot of these lessons we would all have to learn. I think the biggest thing for me was I learned I don't want to rely on anybody else. I want to rely on me as much as I possibly can. And that is a lesson that I embraced fully. Starting a homestead doesn't take hardly any money. The modern day approach to homesteading is you have to buy this, buy that. You can homestead wherever you are, it doesn't take much. 
You just have to think outside the box. I learned to live with the rhythm of everyday life. I learned to get up when my body tells me to get up and to go to bed when I'm tired. The days stand still for me and time stands still. Different times I have to think, what day is it today? What time is it? My life is filled with every day, same chores every single day, but I take great joy in them because I know what it was like before all of this. The stereotypes, what are they? Who says you don't have much in life and who says you have a lot? Who decides whether you're living a life that is full of richness or a life that's not? Who says? We make our own life however we choose it to be, whatever gives us peace. I took inventory of what I had, so let's see. I have an old 1963 mobile home. I have this garage. So two years ago, I converted this garage into this workspace where I could do some canning and it could be a place where I could work on projects. It's using what you got in life and making it to the highest potential that you possibly can. So my journey went even further. I looked around at everything that I own and thought, okay, what can I do with it? How can I turn it into something that can be useful? That was another journey that I went on. And boy, what a journey it's been. At one time, this would have all seemed so superficial. At one time, this would have seemed so drab. But now it's become my life because I realize what life is all about. And that's finding joy in your life. It's not about what you own or what you have. Whether you own riches or not, it's about what you have in life. And are you using it to the fullest of your ability? So here, I had my canning garage. And here is where all of the things that I do come to life. What do I do to fill my days? Here's a little, a little more about my life. Bought this place, we didn't realize a lot of the things didn't work. But I thought to myself, all right, this is what we got in life. And so I had to learn to adapt. Gathering eggs every morning is such a pleasure in life. Being able to document my life is something that I never dreamed I would do in video. And I think it's just such an amazing platform that we have today. So we take the modern with the old fashioned. Now we put this on the fire and we're going to cook this. And when they're done, this will be our lunch. In today's society, people ask, what are you going to do when you get older? You're 50 years old. Well, what did they do in the 1800s? I hope and plan to work until I can't anymore. Another big misconception is in order to homestead, you have to have a cabin or you have to have this or that. But you know what? Living a simplistic lifestyle doesn't matter where you live. You can live in a shed. You can live in a home. It doesn't matter. Me, I want to take every resource that I get and use it to its fullest potential. Whatever that may be. Somebody hands me some free food that was going to be thrown away. I want to use that. I want to use that to be able to feed my family. All of this is done because I want to be more self-sufficient. Self-sufficiency can mean using what people give you or using what resources you have. Not everybody can grow their own fruit, food. My days are spent in my pantries. 
I'm organizing them, I'm taking a good look at them over this summer, all the hard work that I've done. Whether you grow your own food, or whether you're able to glean food from the fields, or you're able to get food free, however you get it, it's being good stewards of that food and using it wisely. This is part of my life. This is something I really enjoy doing. I feel it's important to me to make sure that I have enough to feed my family in case times did get bad. You never know, in a blink of an eye, your life can change. Mine did. Do I go overboard in producing and harvesting and canning all of this food? To some people, it may be overboard, but to me, it's a perfect use of my time and energy. We're all given the same life. It's a life to live, and what we do with it is what we choose. But I choose to prepare enough of food to feed my family, and times would get hard. is power. I don't mean the kind of knowledge that when you go to school, even though school is very important, but knowledge is power in the fact of reading about things, things that you have interest in, reading about them and learning about them. Knowledge is power when you put in these life practical skills to use. Read in a book all you want, but unless you put those skills to practice, you won't learn anything. And knowledge and skills are what will get you through times if they ever get hard. I'd rather be prepared. I'd rather be prepared for anything that I have in life. And if I don't need to be prepared, at least I've done it and at least I know the skills. And I'm having a lot of fun in doing it. You know, homesteading or prepping or all of those things, they're a lot of fun and enjoyment. You get a lot of satisfaction in life when you know you've done something, when you created a home environment, when you created a place that you enjoy being. Life is short, so why don't we enjoy our life and enjoy those things and make our home a peaceful one, make our home the way we want it to be. That's what I did. I took the circumstances of my life and I realized that I want to change and I want to make things different. I may have gone just a slight bit overboard, so to speak, but you know what? It was something that I enjoy and I'm living way below my means and I'm doing something that can benefit people for years to come. So that's a win-win.
this is my life. This is how I live. It's getting up every morning and doing the simple things in life. The heating the water, the cooking on the fire, the washing of the clothing, the washing of the dishes, the cooking. This is my life. It's a simple life. It's a life that's well lived. It's a life where you take every moment and live it to the fullest. Where you have simple pleasures in life. Sharing love with one another, kindness, and living a life of peace. This is the life that I created, a life that I made, a life that I chose to live. This is my story. This is my journey. This is my journey from the materialistic world to the world of things of a simpler time. We can make excuses all of our lives and say, if only I was younger, if only I was this, and if only I was that. But I want to portray in my videos, in my channel, that no matter what age you are, no matter where you come from, what your background is, you can choose a simpler lifestyle. You can choose a life that's well lived, a, the rhythm of life, a life where you have peace and comfort, no matter what you have. And that is my goal in my channel and my life, is to share it with all of you. I've known what it's like to have plenty, and I know what it's like to have little. But through it all, I will always be content. Take care, everyone. God bless you, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. There you go, my friends. Here is my story of my life, my passion for homesteading. If this is something that you enjoy, I'm relying on you. I'm relying on you to share this video. I'm relying on you to spread the word about Homestead Tessie. And that is how my channel will grow.